Hello and welcome guys to a deception. In this video, we are going to discuss the question paper pattern of the mathematics exam you will face in your ICSC 2020 boards. We will also discuss the time management for the examination as well as how you can prepare for this subject. Watch this video till the end for all the information and if you like it, do hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to Deception if you haven't. Also press the bell icon to get notified of all our videos. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin with the question paper pattern. ICSE Mathematics. This is an 80 marks question paper and you will get two and a half hours to solve the whole thing. You will also get additional 15 minutes to read the question paper. The question paper is divided in two sections. Section A 40 marks and section B 40 marks. Let's begin with section A. Section A 40 marks. This is a compulsory section and you will have to attempt all the questions over here. You will get four questions of 10 marks each to give you 4 into 10, 40 marks. You will have question 1, question 2, question 3 and question 4. What will be the subdivision? Each question will have three subparts A, B and C. And what will be the mark subdivision? It will be 3 plus 3 plus 4. Now in section A, the sums are a little short and the calculations are a little small. Okay. Now we move on to section B. Section B 40 marks. You have to attempt any 4 out of the 7 questions that you get. So over here in section B you will get 7 questions of 10 mark each. Out of the 7 questions you will have to attempt 4. So 4 into 10 that will give you 40 marks. What will be the subdivision over here? Now 6 questions out of the 7 will have the subdivision 3 plus 3 plus 4 and one question will have the subdivision 6 plus 4 where the 6 marks question will be an ojive. So that is the subdivision and marks division in section B. So you get 7 questions of 10 mark each out of the 7 questions you will have to attempt 4. In section B the sums are a little longer and the calculations are a little bit hard but not that hard too. Now that we are done with the question paper pattern and the mark subdivision we move on to the most important thing of a mathematics exam which is time management. Let's begin with the time management and a few tips for your examination. First the time management. Now time management is important in a mathematics exam. Why? Because a lot of students, they know all the answers to all the questions, but because of bad time management, they are not able to attempt all the questions. So time management is important. As I told you, you will get two and a half hours to solve the question paper and you will also get additional 15 minutes to read the question paper. First, let's discuss about the reading time. That means the 15 minutes that you get. So reading time. 15 minutes the first thing that you need to do is you need to read all the questions properly starting from the first question till the very last question read all the questions of the question paper properly now 15 minutes is a good enough time to read all the questions properly the second thing Select the four questions that you are going to attempt in section B during the reading time. Now once you have read all the questions properly, select the four questions that you are going to attempt in section B and try to stick to those questions. So it's very important that you select the four questions that you are going to attempt very properly. Okay. So do both these things during the reading time that you get. Moving on to the writing time. The writing time is two and a half hours. That means 150 minutes. So writing time 150 minutes. First, let me deduct 10 minutes out of the writing time. So minus 10. That will give me 140 minutes. Now why I have deducted the 10 minutes? I'll tell you afterwards. So you get 140 minutes. 
out of the 140 minutes use 60 minutes for section A 60 minutes means 1 hour so 1 hour for section A that leaves you with 80 minutes utilize that 80 minutes for section B so 1 hour 20 minutes for section B in section A you get 60 minutes so for each question you can utilize 15 minutes and 15 minutes is more than enough time to solve one question of section A so 1 hour for section A 80 minutes you get for section B so for each question you will get 20 minutes now in section B you will require a little more time because questions will be on construction locus construction ojive and all that so 80 minutes for section B that leaves you with the 10 minutes that I deducted at first now why did I deduct the 10 minutes these 10 minutes are for revision and checking your answer script now revision of your answer script and checking the answer script after you have finished writing is very important in a mathematics exam because many students make slight errors and silly mistakes so keep 10 minutes on your hand to revise the whole paper and to check the whole paper for silly mistakes and errors in units and all that stuff because silly mistakes and errors as I told you is very prominent in a mathematics exam if you find out any silly mistakes and errors you can correct it then and there and you can save yourself from losing marks so keep 10 minutes for revising the question paper that means the answer script sorry okay now that we are done with the time management let me tell you a little tips the first tip the first tip for every mathematics exam is time management and I have already told you that the second tip I follow this tip whenever I myself write a mathematics exam whenever you do a big calculation that means a big division or a big multiplication or that sort of calculations which are a little long check the calculation then and there once more if you check the calculation then and there once more if you have made any error you can correct the error there now if because of an error made in a calculation the whole sum gets a mistake then it becomes a big problem if you have sorted that mistake while doing the calculation you can save a lot of time so whenever you do a big calculation that means a big division or a big multiplication check that then and there once more it will only take 15 to 20 seconds and it will help you save a lot of time okay the third tip keeping your mind clean and clear while writing a mathematics exam you need to keep your mind very clean and very clear because you need a very good amount of concentration to attempt all the questions in the mathematics exam after that if you miss out on any question don't scribble and scribble and scribble for that question see if a question is difficult and you are not able to solve it just leave the question altogether and move on to the next question what a lot of students do if they find a question difficult and they are not able to solve it they keep trying to solve it keep trying to solve it and waste 15 20 25 minutes on that question itself so guys don't waste time on the questions that you cannot solve just move on to the next question there are a lot of questions so if you are stuck on a single question please move on to the next question if time permits at the end you can try to attempt the questions then but please don't waste a lot of time on a single question that you cannot solve so these are all the tips that I can give for a mathematics exam there are many more tips if you have any tips yourself you can give me those tips in the comment box below so that other students can also follow that tips okay now that we are done with the time management and the tips we move on to how you can prepare for the mathematics exam how to prepare for the mathematics examination the most important thing with mathematics is practice practice and more practice so practice maths daily and regularly in one week select two to three chapters of mathematics and try to complete the two to three chapters with proper revision if you do this till your examination you won't face any problem while writing your paper board paper 
Now, how to prepare a chapter of mathematics? You must have solved the sums from your textbook. Also, try to solve the examples of that chapter from your textbook. In addition to that, solve all the previous year's board questions asked from that chapter. If you do all this, you won't face any problem in that particular chapter. Moving on to the next thing, which is formulas. Now, how to remember all the formulas that are in your syllabus? Now, you must know that the formulas are very important. Now, what you can do? You can create a formula sheet. That means on a sheet of paper, write all the formulas and practice all the formulas at least once in two to three days. And if you do it daily, that's even better. So practice your formula sheet at least once in two to three days. So you won't face any problems in remembering the formulas. Moving on to the next thing that is model papers. Now solving model papers for mathematics is very important. And even better one thing I will tell you, try to solve the model papers within two hours. Now you will face a little problem in the beginning, but after you have tried to solve 10 to 12 model papers within two hours, you will see that you are able to solve the model papers within two hours. Now do this for around 20 to 25 model papers. Try to solve them within two hours and you will see during your board examination that you are not facing any problem in solving your board paper within two and a half hours. Moving on previous year's board question paper. Now solving them is also very important. If you solve them, you will understand the types of question that are asked in the board. Now we have already solved the ICSE 2019, ICSE 2018, ICSE 2017 and ICSE 2016 board mathematics question paper. The link to all those videos will be in the description box below. Do check them out and you will understand what type of questions are asked. And also try to solve the board question paper yourself within two hours. Okay. Now before ending, I will suggest a book. The book is Arihant ICSC chapter wise year wise solved. The link to that book will be in the description box below. Do check that book out and that book will be very helpful. After the end of everything, I will end this video over here. New videos on deception are coming very soon. So stay tuned. Until then, this is Rishi on behalf of Deception signing off.